FNN. The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman here on this Tuesday, the 8th of March. This is the Tiger Financial News Network market update. Dow is down after, well, after being down early this morning in the futures and then having a really sharp rally of 100 and something points. It's now down in the cash, it's down 65 at 32,750. This is really important level. Why? Because in the Chapman Wave methodology, this arch formation, as you can see right here, we call it the dreaded H. This move should have stalled today if there was any strength at all. That means stalled to the downside and hadn't attempted a rally. But this is also the period where you've got a peak B minus potential, and there should also be an acceleration down. Well, that acceleration down, if it takes out 32,750, which is about to do, it says watch out because that 32,272 low of the 24th then becomes a magnet. So we're going to have to watch this closely. Same thing in the S&P. The S&P is down. I also had a fabulous rally in the futures, up and down and up and down. Now it's down 17 at 4183. Uh, below 41, well, actually round about here, but below 4178 says, uh-oh, be careful, you're now vulnerable. And if something great happens intraday to that 41,000, uh, sorry, 41.14.65 low of the 24th. Looking at the QQQ, pretty much the same thing. QQQ is also actually, it's even lower now. Now it's an absolutely key support at 322. It looks like it's an 318.25. If this doesn't stop at some point, I believe uh, President Biden's talking in about uh, 40 minutes or so. Maybe they can save the day. IWM, Russell 2000. Russell 2000 is holding a little better than the others, but not great. It's up 34 cents at 194. Gold. Gold is still rallying. Gold is up huge. It's, oh, my goodness. It's up 53 points at 2048 right now. Um, for subscribers, our, our gold stock is really moving very nicely. But more, more importantly, this is... This is telling us that markets are really afraid of something that's going on here. Look at the dollar. The dollar is holding quite well. It's at 92.02, but it's the crude oil. That's one of the issues. Crude oil is up at 128, and the bonds, are t oh, there's so much to talk about. Hope you can say from my Tiger Technicians Hour coming up, check out my opening call, Daily Newsletter. Be back in a moment.